as promised, we're back after reboot. You can see here, it tells you the installer is finished. It shows how your system has been restarted. You click next. And then this is kind of neat. It just shows you some of the stuff, like first launch tasks. It launches the uh, VMware View executable. Ask if you're done. Yeah, I'm done. Here, it's just building your package. Okay, so now once it's finished, you can see here, it just mentions all these services that are going to be included in the package, all this good stuff, which is fine. Hit next. And now it's going to create my package. You want to make sure that you have all the information you have here. You can use a different save location if you want. You're just going to hit create. And so right now it's creating and saving that MSIX. And then once this is done, this, the most important part I'm going to show you in a second here is that depending on how you're doing it, so if you're using device guard, you need to go look at the package and grab that root cert, and you'll have to deploy that via Intune. Because if the trust is not valid, the app is not going to be able to in install and run for you. This is the great thing about MSIX is it runs really, really well once you have the whole thing squared away and once you figure out that initial build. Once you figure out your initial build, you can actually really easily build and deploy apps that go out and can actually iterate really, really quickly. We're going to take a look at that as soon as this package is done building. And actually, since this is kind of doing its thing, we might be able to get into it now. Let's just take a look. Just to kind of save some time. It's not signed yet, but we'll look at one of our older ones, just kind of while we're waiting. So the key here is if you don't see the digital signatures tab, you didn't sign it. So that's kind of the problem, right? So after, what you do is you'll, you'll double click on the signature list. Take a second for that to come up. And then what you do is you click view certificate. And then under certification path, what you're going to want to make sure you do is you go and get that root cert and then you'll deploy that out because as long as you have that root cert and you deploy it down the trust will be valid that's been my experience at least i mean i guess in theory you might have to deploy root certs or intermediate certs but i would expect that that would be all you need and so we'll just give us another minute here while it finishes creating that package since it is a relatively large file and it's done so you click close and then we're just going to show you that last part before we Finish things up here. So since you've built your MSIX, you're now able to go ahead and deploy it. And that's really what's important. So you go here, and you're going to click Add. And you go down to like we were talking about before, that line of business app section. Hit Select. And you'll see how easy this is, which is really a nice departure from other platforms where you don't have to know all this information and pull all this stuff together. All you'll just do is just select that package file, hit OK. And you can see here it's got all, all this information in here. So you may want to do a logo so it actually looks good in the store. Let me see if I have my horizon picture on this machine. So usually what you'll do is you'll go and grab a horizon icon. But like for now, I'm just going to throw a little mobile John in there just for fun. And you can see here, you can input any other information you want to want. You want. I'm going to make it a featured app. You know, I'm going to categorize this as a business app. And you, know, you can put information there, information URL, privacy, et cetera, et cetera, kind of whatever you want to put. And you hit next. I'm not going to scope it. I'm going to make this an available app to all users, which is pretty easy. And then I'm just going to hit create under view and create. The last thing before we kind of tie up here that, that's important to point out, and we'll talk about it more in the article, is one of the issues that we do have with this, you see here it's just working on the upload, is that when you deploy new versions of an app, you're going to actually have to pull back the old ones. It, Intune does not support any kind of versioning or version control like you have with other platforms, which is kind of one of the things that I, I'm not real fond of, but, you know, it is what it is. But I'd say overall, the whole MSIS experience once you have it down, is probably the best in class that I've seen so far.